Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily download YouTube videos without even going to an external website and typing in the URL. So here's how. Right here I have a simple YouTube video open, and it's the video Get a Mac featuring Mr. Bean. So all we have to do to find the download link is hold Command Option A or you can go to window activity and here's our little activity window now at the top you'll notice that it's all contained in one folder there's one folder per every tab that you have opened because each folder contains the number of downloaded items that is visible so you need to make sure that you can first view the video entirely because if you can't that means that you have not yet downloaded it and loaded it so you won't be able to download it using the activity window once you have you're gonna look for the only one that's in megabytes and you'll notice that every single thing is in kilobytes except this one right here if they're all in kilobytes and there's nothing in megabytes then you're going to have to look for the one that's the largest so I'm going to double click on this and Safari is going to start downloading something called get underscore video. And that's going to go straight on my desktop. However, we cannot open this. No matter what application we choose, this will not open. So what we have to do to view it in, in QuickTime is you have to download a free application available at the Apple website called iSquint and basically what iSquint is is it allows you to drag in any type of file any type of movie file and it'll come out as an mpeg3 file that's especially good for uploading to YouTube so this is basically iSquint it's a very simple window and all we have to do is drag in get video into here and then we have a few options on top so you can optimize either for iPod or TV I like choosing for TV first so I can see what it's going to look like but once you've seen it and you really want it on your iPod then you can choose optimize for iPod on the right we have the quality you go from tiny to low to standard to high and go nuts now you have to remember that the higher the quality the, the bigger the file size will be. So if your video is really long, you may want to lower it a little bit. Next you have a checkbox for add to iTunes, which will automatically add it to iTunes once it's finished. And then you have the ability to turn on H.264 encoding. And basically what that means is it's going to take your video, make it a higher quality, and condense the size. But since all YouTube videos can only be 10 minutes long, there's really no reason to use that. So now I'm just going to hit start and it is going to start converting my video, get underscore video, to an MPEG-4 right here. Now the, lo the larger your video, the longer it's obviously going to take to load. Okay. Now, before we look at it, I'm going to tell you that I have the volume shut off just because when it goes to the speakers, it's going to be a little bit blurry. So, I'm just we're just going to watch it for now. And as you can see, if I play, it's exactly like as if I was viewing it on YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope I hope you subscribe. Thanks. Mr. Bombastic, Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Rose.